Hello, it is the 29th of November, 2010. Welcome to today's Silver Analysis. I will start this with a contest update. It was set up for the Dow Jones close today to determine the winner of the Silver uh, Awareness giveaway. There were 250 different participants, and thus the winning number was 249, the last three digits of the Dow, which goes to Zen Micro 71. Thank you everybody for participating in this contest there will be another one coming soon i'm not sure exactly yet how i want to do it so if anybody has any ideas or suggestions please let me know now to this uh, silver analysis today and what we are seeing is we are holding well above this uh, 26 and a half handle it came right back down towards this uh, 10 day moving average which is the orange colored line and then it uh, got up to this uh, green color line, which is the five-day moving average. And I don't know how much you want to put into the uh, five-day average now because there was no trading last Thursday. And the trading on Friday was for a short period of time. But regardless of the matter, we are still stuck in this uh, uh, battle, if you will, between the uh, 20 and 10-day moving average. And that's not the only battle that's going on within the silver market. We can make a case for a... Uh, uh, a wedge pattern or a symmetrical triangle, there's the uh, resistance part, the uh, support is uh, in that area there. So it's uh, coming into tuition like uh, within tomorrow, if you will. Basically, it's got to break it to the upside or the downside. And usually these things resolve themselves within the, within the path of least resistance. And the market's obviously been going higher, rising 50-day moving average. We're above the uh, VWAP from the start of the rally, and it's even holding above the volume weighted average price since the market topped at the 29 and a third handle. So because of this, the bias is towards the long side. That doesn't mean that it's going to transpire this way. It just means that the odds favor that it's going to break this level compared to breaking this level. Now, there can be a failed move. And if there is, a failed move will often bring a fast move in the opposite direction. For example, if it breaks this trend line in here, and next thing you know, boom, it goes higher because that's what failed moves often do. And when I look at the last little uh, bit of this chart, if I uh, look at this uh, rally, if you will, or this uh, and the sell-off that followed, if we draw the straight line above uh, this area here, it's possible that this... Uh, this this uh, final push down or the washout within this rally uh, could be that of a failed move. If that's the case, the fast move couldn't come until we at least get above this significant resistance level because 27 three quarters is a fairly massive mark and there really isn't much uh, resistance getting above there other than the highs of 29 and one third towards the upside. Now as far as downside support is concerned, you got this rising 20 day moving average and uh, you also have uh, 26 and a half which uh, has been supported on three different occasions and below that you got 26 which was support resistance and the big 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 one will be 25 as well as this 50 day moving average and the likelihood seems that if a 25 test was to happen that the 50 day moving average will have at least caught up by then to make it uh, coexist again. But as long as it can remain over 25, it's going to rem remain bullish on uh, this uh, longer term or somewhat longer term chart when you uh, look within the last year uh, because of the breakout of 18 has the uh, Fibonacci or the uh, bullish hold Fibonacci, which is 38.2% or yeah, 38.2% down at 25. So 25 is significant for a key support level. So thank you very much and have yourself a great day everyone. Bye-bye.